Hello everybody, I am Insomniac Maniac and today I'm playing, or continuing, Gone Home. We were stuck at this attic part and Sam's dark room or whatever, but uh, let's discover more of the house, shall we? Okay, it's not a horror game. Oh, cassette, cassette, do I have to go all the way back? Oh, nope. Oh, okay, let's listen to this. Nineties. What is that? Not grunge. It's not grunge. It's maybe it is grunge. Oh, wind show the misfits. They're awesome. See you there. Stygian lounge. Don't forget your costume. Sometimes oh, you just hell? have to lie to mom and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to Lonnie mom and dad's situation. And Sam. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. <laughs> and everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between ooh, two songs, ooh, Lonnie cool. leaned over and said, How do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. Tell what? Is Sam in love with Lonnie, the female friend? Heavens to Bitsy. Uh, okay, let's go that way. Heavens to Bitsy. Calculate. Uh, son of a. Uh, screw you! <laughs> okay. Oh, the, oh, the witchcraft, maybe? Captain Allegra and the first mate. Ooh, hey. Your costume, my costume. Huh, very artful there, okay. Healthy choices, skills for a healthful life. Ooh, look at that number 96. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I was looking at. <coughs> okay. Lonnie, holy crap, I was in the library and I noticed something in the corner and I found a secret passage. And it had Oscar's creepy old stuff in it. Okay. Mom and Dad's room. Closet. Oh, what? Oh my god, I've got to see this. We're skipping sixth. Closet, closet, closet. Closet, closet. Okay, um, good. There's a secret passage back there? Right. Do I have it in my... No, I don't. Okay, closet, closet room. Let's go to the parents room. Closet, closet. Okay, I can't run, can I? Um, okay, we haven't discovered this room, so we're gonna check that out. I saw this note earlier. Katie, mom and dad were going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer. But you came home on such short notice that they weren't around to do it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needed anymore, Sam. The hell, did Sam take off or something? Like, did she run away? Or did she get kidnapped by uh, Lonnie? No, let's read this one. Hey Sam, you're asking me, you're asking what my... A drotch? Ribbons meant here is the handy guy. Orienteering for rifle team adventure training. So you think I was cool before, now you do. Lonnie D. Lonnie. Samantha Greenbrier, Ghost Hunter Journal. A tall shadow on the when I round the corner was there. How tall was Uncle Oscar? I was carrying my glasses. <laughs> Poured milk for her. Uh, spoil, appreciate that on spirits. Spirit sour milk? Lonnie says she feels a presence in the TV room. Um, I suddenly began to feel cold. We built a protective pillow fort. <laughs> okay. Um, and we have light. Okay, anyway. Let's check the closet and we'll see what kind of... Um, I don't know. There's gonna be... Uh, is there... Just hold on. Crouch style, there is no running, is there? Okay, I have to walk everywhere. Okay, 
open panel. Okay. Oh, what the hell? Are these the old fashioned magazine covers crap thing? Ghost Hunter, Sam and Lonnie, Secret House Investigation Log. Heading compartments found three. Evidence of the supernatural discovered zero. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Oh, there's hidden compartments with that wooden thing. Okay, where? Um, library, my room, mom and dad's room. What? Isn't that right next to the bathroom? Foyer in the library. Uh, just hold on. Hidden compartments. Press. Oh, it does say. Okay. Oh, it's marked on the map. Oh, automatically. Grab loose panel. What the hell? A Ouija board. Do you guys believe in Ouija boards? Zero. To open, turn first number, turn left on number, to turn right on pull shackle. Oh! That must be the combination to the locker. Okay, zero. Half of Sam's locker combo added to backpack. <clears throat> Hello? Hello? Who are you? Oscar. What do you want? To come back. Did they use the Ouija board and ask questions? Who the hell is Uncle Oscar? Is he, like, gonna kill us or something? Uh, okay, let's go back to... This creepy-ass hidden... Hidden passages in homes. Uh, is that even possible these days anymore? Open panel. <laughs> okay! Uh... What the fuck? Immediately turn the lights on, people. Oh, Jesus. Okay. What the fuck is going on in here? What the hell? Okay, let's... Oh, okay, um... I'm in dad's office. At least I think I am. Um, fresh! Sarah Holst, I have no idea who you are. Okay. Oh, look at that. <laughs> okay. That I got carried away by cheap. The accidental pariah. Terence L. Greenbrier? Is he an author? He must be an author. <laughs> Gentleman! Maybe he... You dirty dog, you! The dad's a dirty dog. Okay. The magazine for men. Uh, drugs, pros of the mafia, the new rules of love. Okay, I do not know who that person is. Okay, let's stop looking. Let's stop ogling her. Ogling? Is that a word? Ogling? A stranger under my roof. Sound effects are awesome, yo. Okay. Oh, there you are, you bastard. Okay. The Misfits plus special guest Maiden Hits. Did ya? At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her, my eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over, I felt so, I don't know, nervous? 
After a minute, she put her arm around me and was so close and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my head and I really hope she could tell. I really hope that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. Whoa, uh, it's turning into a love story between those two. Okay, wow, well, again, I, Dear Terrence, they asked me to write you regarding the reviews you've been submitting the last few months. Frankly, they've become more trouble than they're worth from an editing standpoint. There's a word limit. It's your job to stay under it, not mine to cut back to it, even when it's come harder for it to maybe run this letter up. It just kind of loose. What? What? He's a reviewer? Of what? I don't know, okay. 0451. Okay, let's check to see if that will work on the combination lock. 0451. 0451. Okay, I have bad memory, so. Could you run faster or something? Okay, um. <laughs> Alright. 0451. Then I have to go all the way back again if I don't get this right. Right? 0451. 0451, okay, let's, uh, that gotta be a different combination to something else. Son of a bitch. And I have to walk all the way back again. Hey! Wasting my damn time like this, yo. Okay. Let's discover the more of this house. Um. Exam form, uh, electrical inspection form, wiring in house is technically up to safety and average amperage requirements. However, however, it is really lights blink out for no clear reason. Pressure on floorboards and door frames will not be addressed. Okay. Why didn't they fix it? Oh! Okay, this must be the combination to this one. 0451. Yo. Boom! I, I don't, don't close it. Read document. Dear Mr. Masan, please find close your original document. I have a red order. It's got to be a trust and affirm with this thing. Okay. What the hell? Is this, um, what is this? Will and testament of Oscar Mason. Who is Oscar Mason? Oh, did they move in? To my nephew, Terrence Elb. Okay, that's his uncle. I think, and that's how they got the brand new house they just moved in. Okay, I think I'm getting it now. Very interesting. John Russell opened his eyes and saw them, the stars twinkling. Uh, is this the review or book he's writing? Oh, okay. They say that a jack of all trades is a master of none. I have to disagree. Mastery is not a question of specialization, but sureness of purpose and dedication to craft. If you happen to be in the market for a combination LDCD player, you'll be glad to know that Pioneer seems to share this particular something. It doesn't finish. Okay, I, I'm done in here, aren't I? Okay. What the fuck? I hear something. Okay. Let's turn. No, wait. Oh, okay. Why is my memory so fucking good right now? Oh, 51? Completed combination to Sam's locker. Okay. Heaven at the edge of the world. The Green Glacier Part 2. Samantha Briar, 9th grade. Private. Do not read. Oh, that's the Allegra girl thing, and okay, I'm O fifty one, right? Okay, let's do it up. Oh, there's gotta be a run button. I'm not doing anything right here. 
So yeah, how's it going guys? <laughs> okay, 051. Alright, let's try that again. Ooh, someone's been naughty. Smoke is the devil! Okay, let's see. Oh! <gasps> they stole it! There's tags on it, man. What's with the gentleman? And what's with this chick? Who is she? That's not Shannon Doherty. I don't know who Shannon Doherty is. Gillian Anderson! Uh, that's from the X-Files, by the way. Lonnie! Oh, she's a redhead. That's the girl Sam's in love with, I think. Lonnie came over today. The Basement key added to backpack. Okay. Different. Let's go she back to over there. Desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think. But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say, but I couldn't find the words. It felt like I was going to cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie, do you think you could ever... And that's when she kissed me. <laughs> what? She laughed about it. She liked it. Is this a love story? Yo? What? Oh, is that Caitlyn or Sam? Or Lonnie? It looks, it looks like Lonnie. Oscar Doc Mason. Oh, that's the guy who gave uh, the inheritance to Terrence Greenbrier. Okay. Hi, Mom, Dad, and Sam. I'm in Paris. I have done many Parisian things, including eating Le Petit de Genoa and wearing a beret. I'm going to have lots of film to develop when I get back. Sam, I'm bringing you back something from the Shakespeare Book Company since you are my favorite sister. She's the only sister, so, you know. Yeah, I don't... Okay, let's check this out. Welcome, new student. I hope that you're excited about your first day at Goodfellow High School as we are. Okay. Sturdy backpack, one line, uh, prepared, uh, six pants, color pencil, please remember. To oh sleep. My God. First you day are of so school. Lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So <laughs> it's the first day of school, and there I am introducing myself to the class, and I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, pushing pretty hard for a rewind button, because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The psycho house. Oh right. shit! <laughs> <Wait. laughs> I thought that was a fucking giant ass person looking at me. Holy shit! Doesn't that look like a giant person? If you like turn around, like, holy crap! Okay, what the hell? Oh yeah, it's. I just noticed that it's raining. There's a storm outside. Look at these water effects. Flood conditions. Are expected at lower Flood conditions. Okay, I'm out of here. Okay, what's going on? Okay, what the hell? Oh, isn't this the fort they were talking about? Was Lonnie and Sam? The Heaven and the Edge of the World. Samantha Greenbar, Grade 2, Story of the Turtle pe People. <laughs> Look at that artwork on this. Captain Allegra looked out at the ocean and went on forever, or it seemed. I, I, I don't know. Interest. Okay, what's this thing? Dear Mrs. Greenbrier, I would like to talk with you about the stories that Samantha has been writing lately. They are what I would expect from the little boys in class, which, along with a few others, tendencies I have observed. 
brings me a bit of concern. Please call to schedule a parent-teacher meeting at your earliest convenience. So Samantha's been writing stories that have a tendency that little boys write instead. So she had lesbian tendencies ever since she was a kid? Is that what's going on here? Oh, more movies to see. Okay. Um, I turned. I turned it on or not? Terrence Greenbar, the accidental savior. Man, these sound effects, yo, pissing me off. Terrence, hey man, how you been? I know you're a pu published author. Hey. And everything now, but my editor at H uh, Hi-Fi Aficionado has too much review to work to go around, and he's looking for another freelancer. Naturally, I thought of you. You were saying in your last letter how much of a pain it's been trying to find a publisher for your latest work of literature and writing stereo reviews is dead simple. Sit at home with a glass of scotch, listen to some records, and write up how it sounds, and then get paid. Okay. He's an author and then he's supposed to write reviews in his downtime. Away from, you know, okay, yeah. Is this. Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> I'm just gonna let it play. Oh, why is this bit? Okay, what's this? Coaster! Who cares? Okay. Oh! Is this the TV schedule? 1995. Family Matters! I used to watch that show. Unsolved Mysteries. That was the scariest intro of any TV show back when I was a kid. Um, I don't. Boy Meets World. I used to watch that since I was a boy. Um, The X Files, a classic. Labyrinth is that TV show? I mean, the movie with David Bowie and Jennifer Connelly. I don't know if it's that one. And Jim Henson, master of puppeteerism. Sleepaway Camp. Isn't that a horror? Some kind of uh, I don't know. Mark and Mindy. Robin Williams, rest in peace. Merkin's funny some videos. Walker to the Stranger. That's with Chuck Norris. He's an awesome guy. Robocop on AE. Robot Gasm. Definitely check that out. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. I have never seen that. Tomatoes. Madlock. I haven't seen that. Full House either. Damn it. Frick! He's freaking pissed me off. Okay. Oh, let's check out these movies, okay. The Andromeda Strain, I haven't seen that. It's I don't know if I want to see that. I, I heard of it. Bit knobs and Boomsticks. God, I have no idea what that meant. Airplane! Awesome spoof comedy with uh, Nielsen. Leslie Nielsen, yes. Uh, what's the classic line that he says? Surely you can't be serious. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. <laughs> Classic line. Robocop, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Michael Caden, Tim Burton. Classic. Blade Runner, oh my god. That's an awesome sci-fi film by Ridley Scott and Harrison Ford. Check that out. JFK with Kevin Costner and Oliver Stone. It's a classic movie. You're gonna have to like get used to every detail in that film. X-Files, sorry to say, i only seen a few episodes ever since its inception into the world. Okay, um, The Time Machine plus Clue. I haven't seen either of those films. I've seen the Time Machine remake, um, I don't know what to say about that. Fantastic Voyage, I heard of it. Some kind of fantasy film, I think. Top Gun, Tom Cruise, um, oh, forget the director. Take my breath away. Ooh. Okay. Ghostbusters Labyrinth. There it is. Ghostbusters. Classic movie. Bill Murray, Harold Ramis, Ivan Reitman, Dan Aykroyd, and 
Oh, I forgot the other guy's name. Ernie. Ernie Hudson. There we go. Okay. Clash of the Titans. The remake or the old one? I'm thinking it's the old one since this movie's old. Okay. Sam thought this might help that making friends even when feeling lonely. She's got a You know that feeling friend. where at the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them. 2001. Get to know them. Well, my favorite movie of all I think time. She's a senior. She's okay, usually just dressed kind of punk. But sometimes I see her in this like army uniform. And she's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven <laughs> every day after school. Street Fighter, school. classic. Okay. Big gold star added the backpack. Okay, um... 2001, A Space Odyssey by Stanley Kubrick is my all-time favorite movie. I ha it's just a great science fiction movie. Oh my god. You're gonna have to watch it. I highly recommend it. Stanley Kubrick is one of the best directors of all time. The best director for me, anyway. There's ugh, I just you just gotta watch it. Um I'm in heaven when I see that movie. Okay. The Dark Crystal, that's Jim Henson's movie. Jim Henson, the master of puppeteering. X Files season one episodes eighteen to twenty one. Okay, no, no more movies. Oh, no pizza, son of a bitch. Grab highlighter. No, thank you. Grab button. Bratmobile. Na 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 na. Bratmobile. I mean, <clears throat> Bratmobile. <laughs> Copyright intending. Okay. Pioneer unit. Oh, that must be the CD player. I mean, the uh, disc. Uh, shit. I don't know. Hey, cool fort. Hauntings and poltergeists. I thought there were poltergeists in this film, but. I mean, this game. But I guess not. I was. It's more of a discovery game. This game is very misleading. Um. It started off as a horror type film, a uh, game, but it's a discovery game. You just discover what happens with the love story between uh, Lonnie and uh, Samantha, and I really want to find out what happens. I forgot what it's called. These matches say your line. <laughs> if you know the reference to uh, Naked Gun, or no, wait, not Naked Gun. Loaded weapon, loaded gun, loaded shit. Something got. Okay. Um. <laughs> Stop! 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 Screw you. Okay. Um. Okay. I um. Taking a break, yo. <laughs> I am Insomniac Maniac. I'll be back soon to play more long. Long gone. <laughs> I got home. All right. I am tired but wired. Peace.